one of the many things we process for storage is apples into applesauce. Because cutting them up takes such a long time, we'll typically do this as a family while watching a movie in the evening. Because after we cut them up, we don't want to spend the, like, even though it isn't quite as much time, still quite a long time canning them, we'll typically wait till the next morning um, in order, and then can them up. However, if you have cut apples, um, they'll turn brown after not too terribly long of a time. And we don't want them to oxidize and brown. So what my mom has traditionally done is clean that one up, put a little dash of lemon juice into the container of apples. Mix them around some and then they can they'll, they'll be able to sit and at least overnight not brown. However, just the other day she happened to instead of lemon juice not entirely sure why, just happened to try some of our apple cider vinegar. And it didn't seem to work. Now, I want to repeat this as a more scientific test, and it'd be great to have apple cider vinegar be able to be used because that's something we make, it's not something we have to buy. And her thought was, is an acid an acid? Like, it, it will work, right? So, I'm devising a little test here in order to try to see if the acetic acid, which is vinegar, versus um, citric acid, which is in lemon juice, works to um, have kind of the same effect of preventing apples from browning. Um, this here, and I'm going to use three different types of apples. This here is a honey gold. Um, this one, a harled red. Oh, I meant to wipe these down between them. And, and I don't think there's going to be any um, difference between the, the types of apples. Um, well, that one has a little bit of a bad spot. Might recut that. Um, but I just thought I'd try given that it's, it's possible. And this one here is a Wolf River. Um, these aren't typically what we use for cooking apples. These work, we find much better for drying. Um, but I'll give it a shot. That doesn't work well. I'm trying to get these as even as possible, but sometimes that doesn't work well, as this one will show. I guess I'm just going to have to use this one. I'll, these won't be wasted. I'll cut them up and use them as with those. So I've got the honey gold, harled red, and Wolf River apples. Now just for a little bit of a putting them on and then I'll watch them as they go. Make sure these are all in the same style. And this is just water to rinse them out between using the different types. And um, instead of using apple cider vinegar, I'm using um, distilled white vinegar because I know the, the concentration of that and that it's 5% acidity. Um, lemon juice, forgot to look before I started filming, um, doesn't have like a, a level of acidity, but that's what we have. Instead of our possibly qu questionable 
um, homemade apple cider vinegar, which should be the same acid as acetic acid, um, but is oh I used that in the wrong spot. Well, I can switch it around, but is unclear. And then set up a time lapse camera and wait. It's been about two and a half hours since I started this, and while this isn't overnight, I think there's enough differentiation between them. It certainly appears that there is a um, difference between the acetic acid and the citric acid. Well, there's also some difference between the species. Well, I can't chalk that up to entirely being the species because these apples were at different um, levels of ripeness. Some were a little bit less ripe than the others. The Wolf River, I think, was the most ripe, and that you can see between all of these got the most brown, though it did start off slightly brown as well. The acetic acid actually seems to make it worse, like more browning on um, these two than even the, well, I'd say, controls, the, the no application there. Um, the Harald Red doesn't seem to have really had much browning at all. Therefore, I think it maybe is a little bit riper and I don't really see any difference between the acetic acid and the citric acid. Um, I, it is interesting to see particularly where the, the acetic acid seems to have made it substantially worse with um, this one, uh, Wolf River. I don't know why apples brown precisely or but or like the chemistry behind um, why citric acid prevents that, but clearly acetic acid doesn't. I didn't do any research before performing this little experiment. It was just something that uh, the other day we happened to realize, and it's like, oh, I'll do this. And I'm, I'm sure I could look up and figure out why it's the case that it needs to be citric acid or possibly there's other options. Um, but it, it was just, it's an interesting thing for for me to look at and see that, well, yeah, the citric acid really does work better than like control and the acetic acid, both um, these two seems to have made it worse. So it's much clearer on the Wolf Rivers.